welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be making a cowboy hat. This technique can also be used for other styles of hats, such as fedora or whatever else you're interested in making. Now there's three ways of doing this, one piece, a two piece, or a three piece. And for the cowboy hat, I would recommend the one piece. So that's what I'm going to work forward to and we'll discuss the others at the end. So what you're going to need for this, first of all, is some needle felting wool. This is, uh, there's different types, but I'd highly recommend that it's either 100% wool or very close to it. You're gonna need some small bubble wrap, the small bubble bubble wrap. You're gonna need some netting or tool. This I think cost me $2 a meter, so it's quite cheap to get. You are gonna need a glue gun. And I would, you're going to need a dowel, a wooden dowel will work fine, or this is just a piece of glue. You're also going to need some white glue and some Fimo, as well as scissors and tape measure, and some 330 seconds leather for the hat band, and maybe a buckle if you'd like some decoration. Let's get started. And if you can, like and subscribe. Thanks so much, and let's go. Before starting your hat, I would recommend looking at various creases and brim styles. Uh, you can see here the various type types, and I will include this link below. And also, when you're doing Western Pleasure, which I'm doing, you'll see the different uh, styles are different than, say, if you're barrel racing or cutting. So pick your sport and have a look at the different styles. Uh, brim size is often four inches, which is 11, meter, 11 millimeters for one nine scale. And the crown height can be anywhere from four to five and three quarter inches, which is around 11 to 17 millimeters. So once you've decided, then you can move forward with the pattern. To make a pattern, take a flexible tape measure and wrap it around the doll's head. And transfer that to paper. And trace around that. To make a for the brim, and a brim is around four inches wide. And in a one nine scale, that is 11 millimeters. You're also gonna have to leave room for gluing on the hat top piece. So I'm gonna pay about 12 millimeters. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the hat. Once you've cut it out, try it on your doll's head. And it should sit about an inch above the ear, inch real time above the ear. And if it doesn't fit, make some adjustments. Make sure the rim is wide enough to do what you want it to do. For the other piece, if you're not using a one piece top, you're gonna to need to cut a strip, the height of the brim that you're gonna use and the length to go all the way around there. And the top piece, you can use this inside as your pattern. To get started, we're going to lay down a towel and then cover that with some bubble wrap, bubble side up. And taking our wool, we're going to pull, gently pull out pieces. Once we've got that done, we're going to see what size we're going to make. So I'm going to make a, an eight by eight, just, you can do six by six. I'm choosing eight by eight because I want to make more than one. So once that's 
once you have an idea of how big it is, you're then gonna take this wool and you're gonna line it up thinly and evenly on the bubble wrap. Try to get it all good, nice and even and going the same way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do one layer that way, nice and thin. We're gonna do a second layer going the next direction, again thin, making sure you keep all the pieces filled in. And then a third layer, going the same direction as the first layer. So once that's done, I'll come back. Here I've got all three layers placed down. Now you do not want this too thick either, but you wanna make sure it's even throughout the entire piece. So this is now ready for felting. For this next section, Make sure you're on a waterproof surface. I'm working on my kitchen counter. Then cover this piece with tool or netting. Then with some water, you can use a spray bottle if you have one, I don't. I'm just using that. And get some dish soap in there. I'm gonna add quite a bit of dish soap in there. And then either spray it or sprinkle it. Just make sure it gets Mixed up, sprinkle it lightly on top. You don't want it too wet or too dry. And then start massaging it, just rub it. Now it should be wet and you should be soapy, but it shouldn't be soaking. Is that enough? And then you're gonna rub this for about 10 minutes. Notice there's quite a bit of soap when you're doing this massaging, and that's a good thing. Once you've rubbed that for around 10 minutes, take a dowel, and in this case, I'm using a glue stick, a big glue stick, and with the bubble wrap and the tool still on, roll the piece up. Once you've got it rolled up, put a couple of elastic bands on this, Do that for about uh, 10 minutes. I like to use long rolls with this. Let's just simply roll it back and forth. Once you've finished rolling, remove the elastics. Unroll the piece. Now, remove the netting, and you're probably gonna to have to peel this off carefully. I find it tends to rip the netting, so I use a second netting for my second one. Once you have the netting off, turn it around 90 degrees, place the netting back on, and in my case, I'm putting a fresh piece of netting on. And with the dowel again, roll that back up. Add on your elastics, and then roll that again for another eight to 10 minutes. Once you finish that second roll, what you need to do is unwrap it and remove the tool from, or netting from the top. This time it should come off a little easier. And what you want to do is flip it over. Put the tool back on. 
and you're gonna roll it up again, and you're gonna do the same thing twice in this direction and then turn it 90 degrees. And this time you probably only need to roll it for about five minutes on each way. So that'll be a total of four times rolling this. Now that you've finished rolling on both sides and in both directions, you're then going to take a bowl of cold water and a bowl of hot water. And you're gonna dunk your felt in the hot water for a few seconds and wring it out. And then let it sit in the cold water for a few seconds and wring it out. And do that five more times. Once you've done your final shock of the felt, then go take it under the kitchen tap and just rinse out any remaining soap. My piece started off somewhere around eight inches by eight inches. It is now approximately just over six inches by a working value of between four and a half and five inches. So it's got quite a bit of shrink to it. Now, once you've got it there, rinsed off, you're then gonna take an iron and give it a good press. Try to flatten it as well as possible. Once you've finished ironing it, you can either let it dry if you're doing the gluing of all three places, or if you're doing a one-piece top, you're gonna to move directly to the one-piece top setup. For a one-piece hat, start with a piece of felt, big enough for the entire hat, including the rim. And what you're gonna do is a the mix of white glue and water, about 50-50%. And I'm going to paint the glue just on the section, top section. And I'm gonna mold that into the hat, a little bit underneath as well. and then take an elastic band and wrap that around. Push that down as far as it can go. You're gonna need to mold it and push it down and get a nice even finish around that hat. Once you have it set, leave it to dry. I find painting with the glue mixture helps get rid of the fuzz. And if I do it every now and then during the setting, I can really work in the shape. Now for this one piece hat, I am going to measure the brim of 11, 11 millimeters all the way around and cut around there to make the brim. Now I've used 11 millimeters because that's equivalent to four inches in one nine scale, which is standard for a hat. Now I actually cut that out by eye. I'm gonna pop out the mold and try it on a doll's head. Okay. Then I'm going to use glue to shape this hat. 50% glue and 50% water, and I'm gonna paint that on and shape the hat. I'm gonna add the glue mixture all the way around and keep a little bit more on the top again, it's not a problem, because this more glue it's on there, the harder the helm hat's gonna be. And also on the bottom. And even though I don't shape much of the back, I still want to harden the felt. Once I have the glue on there, the front, I'm gonna roll this up in a shape so that the width here is about the width of the doll's cheekbones. And it's gonna go so the back is more flat. And once I've got that into shape, I'm gonna use something to hold it up. Now any fluffs can be glued down later. That's not a big deal. Here, the hat will sit just above the ear and from the front to back, 
it should be fairly flat for Western Pleasure. From the front, it needs to be turned to work with her face. I have my water, glue water prepared, and I'm then going to take my prepared mold and I'm going to take this freshly felted piece and mold it around. And using scissors, I'm going to cut enough room so that it's going to go all the way to the base and a little bit more. I want to make sure I leave it enough extra my mold. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to dunk it in my glue. Both sides. Work it in. And then I'm going to push that in onto my mold and work around that and get all the shape. And once I've got it where I need it, I'm going to let it dry. And while it's drying, I'll probably poke around it a few times to make sure I got the uh, shape. Once it's dry, I'll cut off the extra at the bottom. I'm going to try to get that into the shape. And it'll take a bit of poking during the drying and a little bit of stretching to get it into the shape you want. An elastic band around the base to help hold it during drying. Before this dries completely, I'm going to trim this even now with the uh, with the mold. I'm going to pin the pattern onto my felt, and then I'm going to cut out the rim. And if you're using the three-piece option, you could use this center piece for the top. Once you've cut out the rim. Try it on the doll's head to make sure it's how it should be. And check the curl up for the shaping. If you're using the one piece top, a day later, this should have hardened. And what you're gonna need to do is glue that on. So using a hot glue gun, which is I found the best way, carefully keeping the glue inside, go around, and carefully glue that on. And I'm gonna do that off camera since it's gonna require some close-up uh, attention. If you have any excess glue, you could use some trimmers. I've just got some nail trimmers here and just pick off anything that's in the way. To finish these off, I've sanded down some 3 30 seconds inch lace and then either using a buckle or a concho, let's see if I'm going to use a buckle, this is one for me or Rondo, I'm going to thread that on and then I'm going to wrap that around and glue that onto the hat so that it sits on the left side of the head. 
making sure that it fits the doll.